Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Do it appear, subscribe and like me back. Um, we're back with the videos. I haven't done a video for about five, six days now. And we're back with the videos. We did miss the midweek National League um, predictions. Because I have been busy. I've got college bear and all that. So um, I have missed it. But, you know, we're back with the National League predictions today then it's friday so there'll be loads of videos out um, today um as of course i have been a bit busy this is my day off today so yeah um of course then um it's game week nine i know most people i think there's about four teams who have only played seven games but of course, it is game week nine um, predictions. So let's get into it. So starting off with Barnet against Braintree. Um, Barnet, they're sitting sixth with 15 points. Braintree, however, sitting 18th with seven points. Um, of course, Barnet coming up with two will win against Alsford in midweek. Braintree, however, you know, coming off the 2-1 defeat over York. Of course, went 1-0 up, but lost 2-1. Um, I think this will be a tough game. I think, look, yeah, it's bet Barnet to win. They're at home. I think they're better at home than away. So, I'm going to back Barnet. And I'm going to go 2-0 win to Barnet. Clean sheet. Next game then, it is Boston United against Aldershot. Boston, they've been solid to be fair. They're sitting 19th with 7 points, um, of course. And they're taking on an Aldershot side who's sitting 10th with 11 points. I think Boston coming off with a 2-1 defeat in midweek against Hartley Porto after going 1-0 up. Um, and older shot, they can see goals, but drawing away against Ebbsfleet in nil nil, not a good result for them. I think that you have to be beating Ebbsfleet. Um, and I think, oh, you know, I'm gonna go Boston. I'm gonna just back Boston with a one nil win. I think Boston will get a clean sheet, and I think they'll win against older shot. Next game then, it is Ebbsfleet against Oldish, uh, Hartlepool, sorry. Ebbsfleet are sitting 24th with two points. Still yet to win a game, but I'm pretty sure they've got a new manager now, I've heard. Um, I think they've got a new manager. They're taking on a Hartlepool side who are sitting 7th with 13 points. Ebbsfleet coming off a bit. Good point, a 0-0 against Oldershot. Um... You know, that's a good point for them. And Hartlepool coming up with a 2-1 win over Boston. Um, I'm going to go Hartlepool. I know FC got a new manager, but I think it's going to take time for Ebbsfleet to try and, um, you know, get up the table. So I'm going to back Hartlepool. Here. I'm going to go 3-0 win to Hartlepool. I think they're just too strong for Ebbsfleet. Next game then, it is FC Halifax against East Lee. Then uh, Halifax are sitting 15th with 10 points. East Lee are sitting 5th with 16 points. Um, East Lee, uh, they actually lost in midweek against Southend. 2 0 defeat against Southend. Um, they are losing games now. I think they should have at least. Um, maybe just drawn that Tamworth game, but they won it. Um, and they're taking on a Halifax side who are middle. They got a good point in midweek against Oldham, no 1 1. Uh, good result there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna back Eastley. I'm gonna go 2 1 win to Eastley. I think they'll get back on winning ways, and I think they'll beat Halifax. Next game, it is Forest Green Rovers against Wellstone and Forest Green, of course, um, sitting third on 17 points and they're taking on 21st place Wellstone, who are sitting on 5 points. 
Forest Green in midweek, um, losing 3 0, uh, winning 3 0, sorry, against AFC Forward. They are, uh, I think they're five games unbeaten and only lost one game this season. That was against Barnet. Um, Wildstone, however, um, losing 1 0 against Woking in mid midweek, uh, lost the last two. I think. Yeah, it's bet Forest Green to win here, and I'm gonna back them. I'm gonna go two 0 win to Forest Green. I think they'll get a good clean sheet here. Next game into Watchdale against Solly or Moors. Then uh, Watchdale are sitting second on 17 points, and they're taking on 12th place Solly or Moors, who are sitting uh, on 11 points. Solly or you know, they will get it going at some point. Uh, they have got it a bit going the last couple of games, to be fair. But they beat Yeovil in midweek away 1 0. What's a good result going to, well, a good win going to Yeovil. And Watchdale, they of course beat Mainshead 3 1. Uh, you know, good win there. Um, of course, won their last four now, five from beating Watchdale. Yeah, you're probably going to back Rochdale here, and I'm going to go with them. I feel it'll be a close game, but I'm going to go 2-1 win to Rochdale. I think <coughs> I think they'll get a win. Next game, it is Southend United uh, against Sutton United. Sutton are sitting 17th on 9 points. Southend are sitting uh, 13th on 10 points. Southend... Coming off with a 2 0 win against Eastleigh. And Sutton coming off with a 3 0 defeat against Dagnon. What's shocking result? They've lost the last three now. M1 and uh, 5, I think. Uh, Sutton. So, very shocking from Sutton. Um, and it's a hard place going to Southend. But I'm going to back them to get back and win away. So I'm going to go 2 1 win to Sutton. But it wouldn't surprise me if they lose as well. Next game then, my, team, my local team, Tamworth, taking on Main Sedge United. A six pointer away. Yes, it's early in the season. People can say it's early in the season. It ain't really a six pointer. It is. Tamworth are sitting 23rd um, with, on five points. Main said are sitting 20th. On five points. Both teams are sitting down there. And you know, some people probably expect both of these to go down as well. Uh, Tamworth didn't play in midweek. But last game was a 1-0 defeat away against Easley. What I thought we'd deserve something from the game. Um, I may say United are cool coming up with a 3-1 defeat against Rochdale. They score goals, but they let goals in. So I'm going to go high scoring here. Um, and I'm, I don't think any team will win. I'm going to go 2-2 draw. I think Tamworth, you know, we're at home. So if you expect anyone to win, it's going to be us because we're at home. We're strong at home. But may said United, I think they'll come here. Uh, and I think we'll be the better team in this game. But I just think Main Sedge will score two goals and get a point, 2-2. Two, two. Next game, it is Woking against Oldham then. Woking are sitting 8th with 13 points. Oldham are sitting 11th with 11 points. I think this will be a good game, to be fair. I think Oldham, they were a good side, um, of course. Got a point in midweek and Woking winning. I'm going to back Oldham to win this, though. I'm going to go 1-0 win to Oldham. I think they'll just nip this. Next game, into Yeovil against Alshman. Then Yeovil are sitting 9th on 12 points. Alshman are sitting 16th on 10 points. Ooh, it's going to be close. And I think because Yeovil are at home, I'm going to back the Yeovil. I'm going to go 2-1 win to Yeovil. I think they'll nick it. Next game, it is York City against AFC Foyle then. York are sitting 4th and 17 points. AFC Foyle are sitting 22nd on 5 points. I'm going to back York. They're at home there. They're too strong at home and they've started the season very well, York. So, I'm going to go 3-1 win to York. I think they'll get the win. And the last game, it is Dagnum against Gateshead. A very good win for Dagnum. 
in midweek uh, against Sutton. They're sitting 14th on 10 points and they're taking on top of the league. Gateshead, who are on 17 points, who haven't lost a game yet. I'm going to back Gateshead with a 3-0 win. I think Gateshead are just unreal at the minute and I think they'll get a clean sheet and a win. There you go, guys. That's my National League prediction game with nine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, smash the like, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.